right so the first drawing exercise we're going to try to do it with a, tra a trainer or a shoe so if you try to get a trainer preferably if you haven't got trainers any shoes with laces uh would be good to draw because we've got loads and loads of detail on those okay uh so the first drawing i'm going to want you to do with that uh so if you put your shoe um maybe on a piece of paper or newspaper somewhere where you can see it easily uh the first drawing we're going to want to do of that is a blind drawing uh so to do a blind drawing uh we look at a model uh here at our shoe but we're not going to look at our paper uh, a quick trick to ensure that you do truly a uh, blind drawing is to get a sheet of paper and put your pencil through it uh, and then draw it like this. Then it will hide your drawing as you go along so you're not tempting to look on there. Okay. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I will be good and will not look, um, but I will get rid of the sheet so you can see what I'm doing on there. Uh, so here I'm going to get started just looking at my trainer so on these trainers you've got loads and loads of detail uh, so you can go and draw each bit of shoelace uh, each little bit of detail on the shoe and so on so if you can't remember what you've drawn or what if you missed a bit or something just go back uh, so without looking we're not looking for a beautiful drawing on here. Uh, it's a drawing exercise, a bit like a warm-up in PE, okay? Uh, so we're looking at training our eye on coordination. So the way your drawing looks doesn't really matter. We're looking at the process on here. Right, here we go. I think I have finished. Oh my God. So here you've got a really wonky drawing, a uh, little bit messy, uh, but loads of detail on here. You can hear where I've tried to add the shoelaces and so on and all the contour of the drawing.